Green light and we're racing. Good launch there from Toe Hill. Great from O'Donovan off the front row. Look at Steve Hill coming through on the inside as well of Julian Godfrey down towards the first corner. Toe Hill leads into the first turn, followed by O'Donovan. Look at Julian Godfrey on the outside now of Steve Hill. He's having the third place. Great start then from Hill. So it's Toe Hill then from O'Donovan, from Godfrey, from Hill, from Ovenden, from Vittles, who's made a really poor start off of that second row of the grid. And that's compounding a challenging day so far for the young Latvian driver. Through the gravel they go for the first time of asking. Mike Seller brings up the rear of the field as they come through onto the tarmac. Who's going to go Joker at the end of the first lap? I think Hill may do. O'Donovan certainly has done as he comes through that hairpin bend. And on to the start finish straight, he'll go as he negotiates his way through the chicane. He's just going to emerge out ahead of Mike Seller, or at least side by side with Mike Seller. In fact, he's got the overcut and gets himself ahead of the number 69. Hill also went through on that joker, as I mentioned, going through there as well. So now it is advantage Derek Tohill as he sits a little bit further ahead of Julian Godfrey. 3.1 seconds it was over the timing line last time around, and this will be a brilliant result here for Derek Tohill if the Irishman can do the business in the final. Look though at Robert Vittles in the 126 all over the back of Tristan Ovenden as he tries to find his way past the Citroen DS3 driver. Ovenden goes Joker at the end of lap two then. That gives a bit of clear air thankfully then for Vittles as Ovenden negotiates his way through the hairpin. Bit of understeer through there, runs it a bit wide. That won't help his drive onto the straight as he negotiates his way through the chicane and emerges behind Steve Hill there. So Ovenden out of contention for a podium result as it stands at the moment. Here though is Ollie O'Donovan. He made his joker in the early stages and now he's got a rate for the race to come to the Northern Irishman. Let's see whether it does though. On the gravel we are though, meanwhile, with Julian Godfrey and Robert Spittles, the Latvian driver has really got the bit between his teeth and he's all over the back of the DS3 here, down into the braking zone, into the tri-oval hairpin. So, can Vittles find his way past Julian Godfrey, the six-time champion, before the end of this race? Onto the start finish straight we go. And you can see there that Godfrey has just got enough straight line speed to keep the 126 of Vittles at bay for the time being. But look how hard Vittles is pushing on the brakes into that first corner. He's really, really got the bit between his teeth and he's trying to find his way through. But can he do so? That's the crucial question. There's only two laps now remaining here. Onto the gravel. This is where Vittel seems to be so much stronger than Julian Godfrey at this stage in the race. And I have to say, regardless, it's a remarkable drive from Godfrey as the race leader Toehill goes joker then at the end of lap four. Now, how is this going to play out for Toehill? He had a 4.6 second advantage over Godfrey over the timing line last time around. Godfrey, of course, has not made his joker then, so emerges in front, as does Robert Spittles, who has also not made his joker then in this race. So, let's see how it's going to play out. You know that Vittles, of course, is going to drop behind the race leader of... Uh, or the effective race leader, I should say, of uh, Derek Tohill at the moment. But, of course, it's all set to change hands. So, now it's uh, Vittles who leads the way, then, as Godfrey, of course, jokered on that last lap, unsighted to us on the screen. So, Godfrey then went joker. And that released Vittles into the race lead. And Derek Tohill, then, now inherits second place and the race lead now as Vittles goes joker at the end of lap five. So through the hairpin goes the Latvian driver. Now, where is he going to emerge? It's going to be really close, actually, as he comes back onto the track here with Julian Godfrey. They run side by side on the exit of the corner, and Vittles manages to get the overcut perfectly then on Julian Godfrey, and is now sitting in second position as they come onto the final lap. So a perfect joker strategy then here from Robert Vittles proving once again why he is held in such high esteem in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here. But what about Derek Tohill then? He is doing an absolutely superlative job out on track here, and he's only got a couple of corners separating him from an amazing win in 2021. Out of the final corner comes Derek Tohill, over the line he goes, and he wins round five of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship then here at Knock Hill in Scotland. Robert Spittles comes home in second. Julian Godfrey finishes in third. Ollie O'Donovan, P4. After such a promising start, the Northern Irishman will be so disappointed with a P4 finish ahead of Steve Hill and Tristan Ovenden. Mike Seller will come home seventh and last on the grid. But once again, another brilliant drive from Derek Tohill. He wins the final of round five here in Scotland. 
The Irishman is absolutely elated with that result, and I am not surprised at all because that has been a very welcome result for him, just as a matter of fact, because of course he hasn't really had any strong results since the opening weekend of the year at Lyddon Hill. Yesterday, he ended up in the barrier at one point, and I really thought that might have been his weekend over. Managed to get the car repaired, got it all turned around, and now the following day, he goes and wins round five here in Scotland. A great result from Derek Towhill, and another supreme weekend of racing here at Knockhill in Scotland for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.